Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to try to upgrade one of the Windows 10 to the newer Windows 11. Before that, I made some changes. I am using Hyper-V. So within the Hyper-V, I went into uh, my Windows 10 machine settings and I made sure that I bump up the memory to at least 4 GB and usually normally I use only one virtual processor but uh, this time around I'm using two because Windows 11 I believe it's a dual core operating system so let's try updating it no continue so for this video I am hoping that you know what Hyper-V is what a virtual machine is and uh, you have watched all the previous videos I made uh, about uh, running things inside VM or Hyper-V. Alright, so let's log in. it's not resizing itself so let's do it for it all right so for to get Windows 11 right now or upgrade uh, to that whatever preview build uh, going on you have to be insider uh, on the insider program so just go to the Windows Insider program, open this up, get started, or join the Windows Insider program, click register, sign up. So for this, you have to be logged in with the, uh, your um, Microsoft account, I believe. Uh, I did not, but still I was able to get the uh, registration done you can see these are the instruction how to register obviously when you click register it's not asking you for the sign in sign in now yeah so you have to sign in and from there okay so it's already looks good so somehow it has and I believe it has something to do with my son installing uh, this uh, no he didn't install anything I think it just signed in anyways good to know so you, in the back end uh, one account was logged in so let's go and uh, get uh, go to Windows update so once you're update you'll search for update and it should show up here the Windows 11 And no idea I don't see it here Windows 11 preview build so what was going on there Let's open setting open Windows Insider program get started link in account Ah, okay. Confirm. A better way for everyone. Confirm. One more. Thanks for us in the win. We need to restart. Okay. So you have to actually go through this. It will restart. And update is done or no? Yes, done. So it's restarting and hopefully when it comes back it will either be start updating automatically or it will go ahead and start downloading. Most of the time with Windows 10 I've seen that uh, if you see the option once and you leave it downloads it in the background 
like and after a couple of days whenever you try to go through those steps again uh, it's a lot faster so upon restarting it did not install it so I'm guessing that uh, I have to go back to a Windows update check now You can see Windows 11 Insider Preview status downloading. So I'm gonna pause the video here, let this download, and then we'll resume. All right, so just a quick tidbit. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, on the left, this one is for the Virtual Machine Task Manager. On the right, this one is for the uh, my Host Machine Task Manager and you can see that uh, it's pretty consistent what's uh, being downloaded the start was real slow um, for about 10 percent it was downloading here and there maybe 32 or 30 k kilobyte per second but not a constant then it started jumping uh, to about 200 megabits per second for the past maybe minute or two so now it's uh, moving it's pretty fast hopefully it's almost done yep 99 percent you can see it's pretty consistent uh, in terms of uh, what's being received all right so 100 percent the receive went down to zero kilobyte per second it must be unpacking now so we can look on the CPU sides here. So CPU started jumping up. Or not so much. And the hard disk activity. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video here for now. Uh, it does not seem it's anything is moving uh, cosmetic-wise uh, on the surface, but it's definitely doing its thing by here. Let's pause it here. All right, so you can see the status has changed to installing and the CPU, you can see it's hitting the uh, ceiling, uh, constantly going 100%, uh, so Let's uh, pause the video again here and I, know I will unpause around 90-ish uh, uh, percent. So while it's being installed and you can see it's no longer at 100 percent. But if uh, you're not sure, I have a whole uh, playlist uh, to play with the uh, Hyper-V and you know all these virtual machines. You can check out this, uh, this playlist. It has about 12 videos I installed Ubuntu. Uh, you know install Ubuntu server 2019 Windows 10 and all these uh, different Hyper-V related uh, stuff that I did you can definitely go and check and it's been like two years so go ahead check this video how to especially this one if you if, if you want to play with Windows 10 but don't want to upgrade uh, sorry if you want to play with uh, Windows 11 but don't want to upgrade your main PC uh, definitely Hyper-V is the um, lowest impacting your uh, operating system in terms of your VMware or uh, VirtualBox because Hyper-V is made by Microsoft and you can just install it from within the Windows feature how to do that should be here enabling hypervisor on Windows 10 right here this video so once you are there uh, 
definitely install the Windows 10 by following this video and then update uh, to Windows 11 by this current video. In the meantime, we are at 60% and uh, CPU usage, oh, it's uh, going back up. And 37% for the installation status. Uh, let's pause the video here. All right, so it looks like uh, the installation status is 100%. Uh, let's check the toss manager status. Oh no, this is the not the one performance. And you can see CPU is uh, it's still doing something, but uh, there's no activity on the hard disk. So l let's see what uh, we get in a minute or two. All right, so these two popped up here. This is uh, the notification to inst uh, restart now on the Windows update, and then this thing popped up from the right side. Restart to install the newest Windows feature update. Restart, uh, you have three options, pick a time, restart tonight, like uh, after the active hours, or restart now. Let's restart it now from either place. You can see it's restarting and you will see the familiar uh, boot up uh, updating and that takes just a little while i've done it so many times on laptops and uh, uh, desktop so i'm gonna pause the video here i'm not gonna wait to film all that let's uh, pause it and if something is significant on the update process i will uh, resume and show you so you can see that's why I was not filming it saying your computer may restart a few times. Lately with Windows Update it's not just one reboot. It's uh, multiple reboots during the updates. It updates up to a certain point, normally up to 30% reboots again then go up and maybe reboot one more time. Right now it's still working on whatever and uh, I'm gonna uh, pause the video here again. All right, so while I had to step out, I, it looks like it rebooted and I have a login screen. Let's uh, log in and see what we have. Uh, do we have a Windows or not? I can resize this, so let's log in. definitely taking longer than uh, normal to log in let's pause the video again here all right so i do have windows 11 now you can see the famous start menu in the middle uh let's uh, run winbor and be sure about it run command and i you can see that is windows 11 we will go about uh, in later videos we'll explore more but for now just uh, stay here and it feels a kind a little bit slow uh, but the overall like uh, UI experience uh, is definitely Windows 11 is kind of a little bit better than uh, on Windows 10 so first impression is definitely uh, I'm liking it maybe it's a uh, slow to respond because of uh, it's inside a virtual machine and it has very less uh, resources al uh, allocated to it maybe that's uh, why and it's a lot faster uh, on actual hardware but we'll explore more so for this video let's wrap it here there you, there we have uh, Windows 11 in uh, my virtual machine uh, if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.